Today's tip is about how you can discover some of Excel's power on your own. Built into Excel are many helpful tools called functions. Functions are shortcuts that make it easier for you to accomplish things that would otherwise require long, complex formulas. For example, the best known function is sum. You've probably used it many times by using the auto sum button. Without the sum function, what's now a really simple process, we require entering ridiculously long formulas like this where you would have to list every cell that you want to add it up. So here you can see just to add up 10 numbers, I had to list every cell that I wanted to have added together. Whereas by using the sum function, we're able to use a much shorter, much simpler formula. There are well over 300 functions available in categories such as date and time, math, financial, text, database, and more. But how do you find the one that you want among all those different functions and then learn how to use it? That's where the function wizard comes in. There's a small button up here next to the formula bar. It looks like it says it has an FX on it. Or you can go to the formula tab on your ribbon and use the insert function button right there. They'll both get you to the same screen. The wizard will list all the available functions by category. So you can simply browse through, look at the categories, and looking for a, a function that, that will do what you want it to do. As you click on each one, you can see a description of what it does. When you find the one you want, click OK, it'll pop up another window where you can put in what's called arguments. Arguments are simply the information and options needed to perform the function. Some of the functions have very few arguments, such as sum, where all we have to do is tell it which cells we want to add up. Others are much more complex, such as VLOOKUP, which has several different arguments that we need to fill in. With each argument, if you click in it, you'll see a description down below um, of that argument and what kind of information it's looking for. So you can move through each one and see the different descriptions. And if that's not enough, because many of them clearly were written by programmers for programmers, you can click on the help function to get some more detailed information. And for any argument where you need to enter a cell range, you can either enter cells in by typing them, or you can just click back on your spreadsheet and select them with your mouse and it will fill them in. Also down on the bottom left you'll see a formula result and once you put in enough information for it to be able to come up with an answer to your formula it will show the result of the formula as you as you entered it. If you're already on a cell that has a function in the formula you can click the function wizard and it will take you straight into the arguments window so you could go in and edit that if you needed to make changes to the formula. And so you can see as soon as I make the changes my formula result changes down there. So next time you're trying to find a solution to something in Excel open up the function wizard, explore what's there and you may just be able to find exactly what you need.